Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. Okay, what you just saw, I cut the floor out with my plasma cutter. Now this is for the bottom, the bottom floor plate of our coffin. If I'm talking slow, that's because I'm talking slow. So now we're going to talk normal. And what we got here is, if you look down here, you see that I made the floor and I put a lot of metal structure in it because that's where the base is. That's the base of our coffin okay and uh so it should be nice and strong and sturdy if you look right there i basically made an exact replica copy let me get out of the way there you go an exact replica copy of the floor now what i did is i measured on the inside of my coffin floor and then i added about uh i don't know an eighth of an inch three sixteenths whatever Okay, as I was cutting down, so I can weld to the edges because we still got to put the sides on and then put the top of it on to make the box itself. So, uh, yeah. Now, I looked at it here and from welding it together, got a little, little we got a little, oh, you motherfucker. You see there? You see? I try to explain shit to you. I try to use the best possible top-notch, high-quality fucking wording that I can, and I start getting tongue-tied, okay? So I'm just going to talk in normal fucking lingo here, and if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. The fucking thing was washed when I welded it together, so I'm going to flip it over to find the side that sits down the flattest, which is going to be right there, because I noticed it was, okay? And uh, what I do here is I'm going to take my skin... Now, I've already told the owner, okay, and if you look right there, you can see that that fits right up on there. Can you see that? Now that I have that tack welded on there, I'm going to go ahead and flip our bottom over. Like you see right there. Wow. And now I'm actually going to tack weld it to the frame itself. And as I'm tacking it, I'm going to also hold it down. Okay? It would be nice if I had a fucking ground. I need to do to my uh, coffin is get the fuck up before my knees lock. Oh shit. Damn, that's a fucking bitch. Whew. It's a pain in the fucking ass working on the fucking floor when you're all curled up and you're 49 fucking years old. 
All right, we've got our floor, okay? Great. So what do we got to do next? What is the next step? Can anybody answer that? Can anybody give my friend Pete a hey yay and tell me what the fuck are you, am I going to do next? I, you, do you know? Does anybody out there know? What we're going to do is we're going to take our top rail, okay? And now, if you look right there, I got to make a fucking box. All right, I have got to mount this to that. Does that make sense? Okay, so this is exactly the same size. We made two of them at once. It fits on here exactly, just like I showed you. And uh, it doesn't. There it goes. Wow. Okay, so what I got to do now is I got to go ahead and cut all my side rails, okay? All the rails that go around the side, okay, and I got to uh, weld them on there. So then we have ourselves a toe pincher coffin box. Then on to the strenuous job of putting the sheeting around the sides. And then we go to the even strenuouser job, which is, I can't hear you. Is anybody fucking there? Making the lid. And then once we do that, then we might go ahead and goth it out or do this or do that. I don't know what the owner wants. But once we get that done, it's downhill fucking deal because then I get paid. So now, in our blueprint, uh, we're looking at our blueprint here. If you can see that. Here we go. There we go. So now, looking at our blueprint on the left-hand side, it says from the very bottom, which is right here, to the very top of our lip to where the door fits on, okay, we got 17 and a quarter inches. Okay, 17 and a quarter inches. So that's probably standard, uh, you know, standard height of a coffin. I don't fucking know. I mean, why would I know how deep a coffin? I've never even laid in a coffin. If I lay in this one, it'll be the first time in my friend Pete's history, okay, and probably uh, the only time until I'm gone that I will lay in a coffin, so. But that's, un, that's not even here yet, and I don't wanna talk about coffins. I don't like them. Okay, so we got 17 and a quarter. I'm, I'm reading it with you here. 17 and a quarter inch. So, if it's 17 and a quarter inch, and those are half inch each, let's see, I need to make my sticks. Uh, let's see, I need to make my sticks. Exactly, you just answered it, see? See how easy that was? You just fucking answered the fucking question before I can even think it out. 16 and a quarter inches. And you thought this was fucking hard. Wow. So I'll cut all those out. Uh, of course, I'll measure it out precisely so it's uh, perpendicularly uh, spaced out. So when I tack weld all the sheet metal on, it's not going to be all warped and fucked up. And now we're fucking... There we go. Okay, I see now. Now I've got the idea. See, I got to stay on this side of the fisheye lens. Okay, because if I'm on this side, well, it was blurring out. Okay, so I'll get all those cut. I'll weld them on. Then we will go ahead and weld the top on. We'll get a good gander at it. And then we're going to cover the motherfucker up with some more sheet metal. We'll be back, as always, because my friend Pete's always here. Seven days a fucking week. It's like I live here, see? It's like I live in this little box okay, and I can't get out. It's, it's like that. Uh. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.